Statesville, North Carolina. Statesville, North Carolina. And we're sitting in a what year Cascadia? 2013 Cascadia Evolution. Okay. Well, tell me about all of the aerodynamic uh, fuel economy improving characteristics of this, of this truck. Okay, on the truck it starts really at the front bumper. Uh, they changed the lower balance panel of it to better duck the air underneath the truck. Uh, much like on NASCAR running outside of us here at the Speedway, they sealed up the bumper closure so that the air did not bleed into there. Uh, changed the windshield seal, the mirrors, even the CB antennas didn't go unnoticed. They embedded them into the roof, which they were fiberglass antennas and it's a fiberglass roof. Uh, the side fairings, the new 20 inch cab extenders, the lower rubber sections down below the cab side skirts. So it's been a lot of little things that all by themselves don't really make that much of a difference, each one of them, but all put together, that's about 5%. Well, you have uh, skirts, you have a trailer tail, you have low rolling resistant tires. What else? Any other features besides what you already described to add to the fuel economy? Yeah, on the trailer side, I also have a nose cone. I have the the uh, cross members from the skirts to the rear end of the trailer plated. I covered over the rain gutter on the roof and uh, moved the license plate up from where it's typically below the tail lights just sitting in the air all day long up onto the rear of the trailer and also I have wheel covers on all wheel positions. Okay, the big question, what kind of mileage do you get? Well for the last 30 days I've averaged 10.52 at a gross loaded weight of Usually I'm between 60 and 65,000. However, I load and reload at the same dock, so that's actually higher than most trucks' averages because of zero empty miles. So I'll bet you've done the math in terms of what you're saving uh, by driving a truck with these features. It's well in excess of 30,000. It would depend on where you're going from. I know on my previous truck, I haven't done the math 100% on this one, but um, I got to compare them with somebody that was just a little below six mile to the gallon mark to where I was and the figure for the year on our fuel bills was $31,460. And I ran almost 2,000 more miles than he did. So there's no question that uh, among other things, trailer tails and skirts and uh, other aerodynamic improvements pay for themselves in a fairly reasonable amount of time. Yeah, everything. The, the worst thing as far as the payback I think is the tail, although it's been one of the biggest benefits as far as changing from what stock configurations are, it's almost a year. The rest of it's all under six months. Uh, you can do the math on it. When you get up to the mileage where I am, I profit most weeks between three and five hundred dollars above what fuel surcharge pays me. So I always joke around that's my part-time job now, filling the truck up twice a week. <laughs> Anything you want to add? 11.488 for 1,770 miles. She was saying that you'd gotten over 11. And uh, in terms of uh, your highway speed? What, what 62. You, 62. Do you, did you put a limiter in or do you just do 62? I buy the fuel. Yeah. You know, we have plenty of battles to fight in this industry, dealing with government regulations, insurance, road conditions, brokers, shippers, dispatchers, whatever. The man at the way station. <laughs> what, 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 all the above, right? Yeah. Why pick a fight with the very air itself? Yeah. You know, it just. Yeah. We we got plenty of battles to fight without fighting with air. Why not go with the flow? That's it. All right. Well, thanks again. I appreciate it. it was good to see. Very you. good.